Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Daily Vibration. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Kamoy, and we're doing the Daily Vibration for 420 2021. 420 2021. So if you do tap into the 420 day, okay, happy 420 day to you. All right. Uh, okay, my love. So we're going to jump right into this. So keeping in mind, energy is fluid. So whenever you click on this video, if the message resonates, you take what you need. If it does not, you leave it and you keep it moving. Okay. Now, what I do here in these daily vibrations is I just go through the numeric value or, you know, the numbers within the day. And I kind of give you or interpret exactly the energy of that number. Okay. What I haven't been sharing with you guys is more so the code of the day. So we're going to start adding that to the vibration. All right. So we got, and this is just like a string of numbers you can see repeating throughout the day that you may want to tap into and see how those numbers vibrate and resonate with you. Okay. So first of all, happy Tuesday to you. Tuesdays is ruled by Mars, okay? You want to keep in mind, if you're working on any chakra energy today, if you want to tap in maybe even to the Mars energy today, you want want to tap into your root chakra energy today okay kind of grounding yourself and balancing yourself today could be very very helpful as you're moving throughout the day right so energy is fluid okay so i can say that the number four represents this, but everything has a polarity. So you can actually be operating in balance of the number, or you could be operating more on the um, out of balance of the frequency of the number. Okay. So it is the fourth month in the Gorgarian calendar, the 20th day of the month, and we at year 2021. Okay. So, you know, the number four is all about the physical plane, but it is a doing number on the physical plane, right? So self alchemy is going to be required within this number, which means you're going to have to master yourself whenever the number four shows up in your experience okay now along with the mastery within the number four uh it comes with you learning through your experiences so don't be afraid to make mistakes and mess up okay when you make a mistake and you mess up mm, guess what that is how you learn okay so be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the month of April, right? Now, let me just sidetrack right here because April, uh, I do have three different numbers, signature vibrations that you can interact with on the month of April. You got the number four, which is um, from the Gorgarian calendar, the fourth month in the Gorgarian calendar. You have the number two, which is the um, English Geometria version of... Um, of April. And then you have the number six, uh, which is a Hebrew breakdown um, of the spelling of April, right? When you break down in Hebrew, you get uh, 321, which reduces down to the number six, okay? So two is in that intuitive energy operating on that intuitive plane. And we've been talking about the number two for the whole year, okay? Two is the gateway to your intuition, right? This is a soul plane. This is the feeling plane. So you got doing energy on the physical plane operating today with the number four. And then you got intuitive energy from the soul plane today operating with the number two. So you're going to have to tap into your emotions and your feelings today and trust your intuition but you may have to physically take action and do some things okay now let me just also let you know this the number four really also vibrates and operates with the left side of your brain so we're thinking about more logical movements here okay now the number two also vibrates and resonates on the left side of your brain also so keep that in mind but it's the gateway to your intuition this is where you begin to tap in to the intuitive sense or to the realm that you may not be able to physically see okay with your eyes all right so keep that in mind all right now one of the things that we have to be mindful of today, however, that I saw as I was um, doing uh, my notes today, we have triple twos in the day. Now, this is the number where I tell y'all, whenever triple two shows up, this is the mind your business number, right? So a triple two shows up, this is mind your business number. And there's a reason why I like to coin it the mind your business number, because within the triple twos, a few things happen here. Now, let me just say this once again, the number two is operating from the spiritual plane, the soul realm, intuitive realm. So we're talking about feelings here, okay? So when you're operating with so much twos or that triple two is those clusters of twos, you have very hyper sensitive energy so we're talking about hypersensitive feeling energy hypersensitive intuitive energy right the question is depending on the individual how this energy is going to play out in your life okay now this is very emotional energy with the triple uh twos in the date okay 
Not only is it emotional energy, if you are not careful, you can tend to get involved in other people's business that don't have nothing to do with you and then get in your feelings because they're not responding the way that you think they should and then get in your feelings even more and be hurtful and be mean and be cold, okay? So be mindful of that, right? This triple two energy can also bring, bring in some defensive energy, okay? As well as some impulsive energy. So you want to be mindful of that, okay? It can also bring in some loneliness if you're the one that's always trying to get up in everybody's business okay and people really has been dealing with their own shit lately and really may not want to share so much okay so be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the day today okay you got the triple twos in the date which is telling you to mind your business because it's hypersensitive energy very emotional energy so you can find people being emotionally triggered today okay now i do need to make a correction because i think yesterday i told y'all that the sun is in Aries and it is not. The sun is currently in Taurus. And we talked about that yes, uh, last week, Wednesday on the live, like the energy swapping over to Taurus. Now, can I just say this to you guys? So now that the sun is in Taurus, what the archetype or the highlight of the energy is going to be is really um stability and your possessions and maybe feeling beautiful, wanting to do something different with your hair, wanting to change your outfit. You just feel like, oh, love, right? Uh, now, the flip side to that is if you are not tapping into that energy, this can um, make you, I want to say, have nice things or want nice things, but you don't mind stepping on other people to get that, right? So be mindful of that energy too, right? So the Tauran energy can bring in energy where you can get more focused and more stable in what you want, what you want to produce. Remember, we're also in ground planting season or seed planting. How, how, wait, wait, rewind seed planting season right so you're planting seeds in the ground right so we're in seed season right so be mindful what you plant not just in the physical realm but the spiritual realm as well as the mental realm okay now i want to talk about zeros because we got double zeros showing up in a day we got the zero from the 20th and we got the zero from 2021 okay you know zeros represent that that force energy it represents potential choices and decisions okay this is a year of potential choices and decisions. Is you really your choice? We also know this is a year that vibrates in the number five too. Zero sits dead smack again. Listen to this in between the twos. So you have zero showing up in between the twos in twenty twenty one, and you have zero showing up in between um, the date the twenty in you know twenty twenty one. So you had zero showing up in between twos twice on uh, on the scale so we're talking about super fucking sensitive energy in the atmosphere today okay super sensitive at energy in the atmosphere today you're gonna have to pay attention to that okay we just came out of um we just came out of the moon being in cancer um yesterday okay now the moon is in leo so not only is the moon in leo right we got the sun in taurus okay so leo is coming in with that confidence right now but leo could also come be coming in with that e egotistical energy no this gotta be done my way you know mm, yeah i want what i want <laughs> okay so you can find that people today in their feelings just want what they want okay and it gotta be beautiful and it gotta be you know it gotta be about love it gotta shine you know or there could be some type of imbalance where they're taking more love than they're giving okay so just be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the energy all right so now i also want to talk about the one that's showing up in a day okay so the one is on the physical plane but the one is responsible for creative energy right it's responsible for you being able to express yourself in this physical realm usually in the verbal um uh, aspect right so the one also begins to express spirit through your ego right or oppress spirit through the ego it's really your choice right however remember one deals with you being able to express on the physical realm four deals with you being able to do on the physical realm okay triple twos is telling you that you're gonna got to get focused and mind your business and not really pay attention to all of the external stuff that's going on around you okay now i also want to point out that we have the number five showing up in the year this is about change so i've been you know telling you guys to be as flexible as you can this year and kind of tweak and revise what works and what doesn't work you want to get rid of it you don't want to hold on to anything that's not really yielding you okay <laughs> what you truly, 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 truly want, okay? And I'm not talking about settling 
because this is what's good for everybody else. You know, this is what's good for your partner. This is what's good to pay the bills, right? I'm talking about truly tapping in and asking yourself, what do you want? Right? We are in new energy. And I'm not just talking about new energy because it's a new month. I'm talking about we have approached new cycles of energy astrologically. Do you know what that means? That means you get to create a whole new narrative. You don't have to you don't have to be trapped in the old no more, y'all. This means you get to create things in you. So let me ask you a question. When you look at yourself in the mirror, who do you see? When you look at yourself in the mirror, do you see a person filled with limitations based on what everybody else told you? Based on what you heard maybe 10, 15 years ago when you was, you know, in college or, you know, 25, 30 years ago when you were a little girl, you know. But what narrative are you telling yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror? Do you know who you are when you look at yourself in the mirror? Are you living your life to your truth? You know, the other day um, when we got into it, the question really was, what was your truth? And that was Sunday. Sunday, as you listed, you were supposed to be listing things within your truth. Yesterday was all about, you know, like you only had to tap into what was relevant yesterday. And if I could be really honest with y'all, yesterday, I, yesterday I had to ground myself. I literally had to put myself in the grass and just sit there and ground myself yesterday. Okay. Who do you see when you look at yourself in the mirror? Do you see the kind, compassionate person, the loving person? Do you see a person that can overcome anything that comes in their way? Do you see a person that's bound by limit, limit, limited thinking, limited beliefs, right? Do you see a person that wants to create healthy ways, abundant ways of doing things, of being and sitting in your, your I am-ness? Like, who do you see? Do you see a person that makes up excuses? Do you see a person that beats themselves up? Or do you see a person that loves themselves, that gives themselves kindness, compassion, and patience unconditionally, just like they give it to everybody else? Who do you see? You need to think about that today. We are day number 23. We got 77 more days to go, okay? And see, this is the thing about the spiritual world, because yesterday was not, um, yesterday we had the moon in cancer and I got to be honest with you, like yesterday I had to really check into my feelings. I wasn't mad or angry, but I just felt mm, kind of melancholy yesterday. I had to ground myself, take my feet and plant them in the grass yesterday. That's what I had to do. Who do you see? Ask yourself that question. And if you're taking a lecture, VIP, VIP lectures for the 100-day journey. We're going to talk about this on Saturday. Who do you see? And then you guys are also going to get a tool, okay, on how you can go ahead and draw out that person that you see or how you can mature that person that you see, how you can heal that person that you see. We're going to do some work on this um, on Saturday when we get into the... Um, the level up journey uh, lectures, right? So yeah, I already took notes about that. So there's actually going to be a step on how you can draw this energy out and how you can tap into that energy, okay? With that being said, my lovelies, ask yourself that question, right? I'm gonna see y'all on lives on Wednesday, okay? On Instagram as well as YouTube, all right? At 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you are joining us via the lectures, I will see you guys in Zoom, okay? Now, if you still want to be a part of the lectures, you can, all right? It is a $50 donation until the 24th. After the 24th, it goes up to $75. You will have access to the lectures starting from whenever you make your donation all the way up until July 3rd, okay? So we're running the lectures. It started last Wednesday, I'm sorry, last Saturday on the um, uh, the 17th, and then we're going to be doing the lectures all the way down to July 3rd, okay? All right, do something kind for yourself, love yourself, honor yourself. You know the deal. Don't be afraid of the dark because out of darkness comes enlightenment. You are your own guru. You do not need anybody else to tell you how to do your spiritual walk, honey, okay? So keep that in mind. Pay attention to the sensitive energy as you're moving throughout the day, all right? I love you guys much, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's Daily Vibration. Bye, my loves.